everybody, it's me, Anthony. I'm here today to walk you through some magic that you can perform using your Promethean Active Panel and some of the cords that you have that are already attached to it. So I have it flipped around right now just to kind of easily show you what's coming out of the back here. In the back of your Promethean Active Panel, you've got a few cords that should be kind of dangling around. Maybe you've hung them up over the back side of the screen or you've done something with them. But you've got three cords that are back here. You've got a regular HDMI cord, you've got a traditional USB cord, and then you've also got a USB-C cord. So what these cords are designed to do are to connect to an external device to project onto the Promethean Active Panel. So what I want to do right now is just show you what happens when you connect these cords to an external device. Okay, so I have the board turned back around so that you can see the front of it. And you see just the regular home screen here. And you see down here on the shelf underneath it, I've got my Dell laptop um, here. So what I'm going to do with the Dell laptop is show you a few different combinations of these cords and what they do differently. The first one I'm going to plug in is the HDMI cable. So this is just HDMI. It's going to go into your HDMI slot on your computer. When you do that, your screen will blink on your laptop. Don't worry about that. Nothing should change on your Promethean board. To access, to see what is happening here on the computer on the Promethean board, I'm going to hit the unified menu. I'm going to tap source, and I'm going to go to HDMI 2. And that is HDMI 2, which is this cord that I have plugged in here. So now you can see my screen, which is great. If you're showing a video, or doing something that you don't need to interact with the board, that's a totally fine way to do it. Um, so when you have it set up like this, I can't pick up my stylus or use my fingers to open up apps, to open the start menu. I can't do any of that as it is right now with just the HDMI cord. If I add in the regular USB cable, so if I plug in this USB cable, it's going to make the board be able to manipulate the computer. So I'm going to do that now. And now I should be able to either take my pen or my finger and open up things. So that's that's great. That's wonderful. So that's two cords. I've got an HDMI cord and a traditional USB cord plugged into the computer. Uh, and again, I access that. I change. I, I access those devices by tapping source and then HDMI 2. The other way that you can do that, if you're interested, oops, is on your actual panel here on the front end, you've got a source button here, and that will bring this pop up the same, uh, the same it does the same thing. So uh, HDMI 2, that's how that is. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take out these two cords, and I'm going to just plug in the USB-C cord. All right, so I've got the, I've got the USB-C cord here. I'm going to plug just this cord into one of the USB-C ports on my device. I'm going to tap the Unify menu, go to Source, and now you see that the source has changed to USB-C. So that's fine. I'm going to click on that and open that up. Now when I have just the USB-C cable plugged in, I'm still going to be able to display my screen. So my screen is still going to be up here, but with just the one cord, it's also making it interactive, which I like a lot, because one cord is better than two cords. So I would get in the habit, when you are wanting to use this board as an interactive panel to manipulate your computer, to plug just the USB-C cable right into your device, and all is right with the world. That's on the Dell laptop. Okay, so now I have my Chromebook on the little ledge here underneath the active panel, and I have it plugged in with my HDMI cord and my USB cord. And as expected, I'm going to be able to interact with my Chromebook here um, from the panel. So you need either, same thing, the HDMI and the USB cord to be plugged in, so to those two cords plugged into your laptop, uh, to your Chromebook, or you can also take your USB-C cable and plug that into the side. I'm gonna switch that right now and show you how that works. So I plugged in my USB-C cord, I'm going to switch the source over to USB-C. Same thing, I have the ability to interact with my Chromebook here on the panel. Um, 
quick pro tip on this, Chromebooks by default, when you connect the Chromebook to a projector or to a second screen or to like this active panel, it automatically um, extends the displays, meaning that what you see on the screen of the Chromebook is different from what you see here. It makes it be like a second monitor as if you had two monitors side by side. So that usually messes with people a little bit. So uh, my recommendation is to make sure you just remember to switch your Chromebook over from um, displaying as a second screen to mirroring. That's a pretty simple process. I'm going to make a separate video on how to do that. Look for that if you have any trouble with that. But otherwise, that's the magic that you can do with the cords here and your computers with your active panel. Plug it in, baby. Your USB-C cable is your best friend with these devices. Plug it right in there, and then you can um, use it as a giant touch panel for your Chromebook or your Dell laptop. Hope you found that helpful. If you need help with this or any other ed tech tools that you have in your classroom, let me know. Happy to help at any time. I hope you have a great day.